I apologize if you were personally victimized by this recommendation, but hello, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while, life's been busy, really trying to just work out what my filming schedule looks like with also having a very busy full-time job. But we are back and we are doing an April favorites and fails video. I have a lot of products that I fell in love with, and then I have a lot of products that really angered me to the point of I am returning these products before they hit their return period this weekend. So if you are interested in seeing what I liked and what I loathed, go ahead and keep on watching. And if you are not already, please subscribe to my channel. I am new here on YouTube and I'd really appreciate it. Also follow me on Instagram, same name, Deary Eva Hansen. My Instagram stories, I cover a lot of Vanderpump Rules, a lot of weird TLC shows, and just other shenanigans. So go ahead and give me a follow there. Okay, the first product I'm going to go over is not makeup, skincare, hair care, anything. It is actually a pillow. Not just any pillow. It is the Sleep and Glow Omnilux pillow. Now, this product I purchased back on Black Friday when they were doing a sale. It is the most expensive pillow I have ever purchased in my life, but I have zero regrets. So let me tell you a little bit about the pillow and maybe about like my sleep habits. So I am a side sleeper. If you are a side sleeper, you know, or if you have seen the graphics, you are smushing your face and creating more wrinkles when you are a side sleeper. It's also really uncomfortable on your shoulders, etc. I just don't think I have it in me to train myself to become a back sleeper. I there's just, of all the things in life I want to do, taking the time to train myself to sleep on my back is not one of them. So I do want to talk about this pillow. So this is from the brand, as I mentioned, Sleep and Glow. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but what it does is it has these little divots here. So there's one here, there's one in the middle, and then there's one over here. And when you're sleeping on your side, what you do is you sleep and then when you roll your head over, your face falls into this little divot, but the little the little things up here and here support your face so that it's like kind of elevated above the divot. I don't know if I'm explaining it properly and I don't want to demonstrate because I don't want to get makeup on my pillow, but what it does is when you put your head on the side, you are supported here and here. So your actual face kind of floats above this little divot. And I absolutely love this pillow. I've been recommending it to my friends. Um, I did purchase this absolutely on my own and I did reach out to them for a code and they were gracious enough to provide one. Um, the code is Dear Eva. I will also have it listed in the description but that will give you 13% off your purchase until May 14th. After that, it will provide $10 off. So if you're a side sleeper and you're in the market for a pillow, this is a great investment. They also have really cute cases. I also have one in pink as well. And the material is like a really soft, silky material. They do also make a pillow that is for people who do sleep on their back as well. So they make a variety of pillows, but the Omnilux one, I'll have the exact one linked in my description below, has really been a game changer for my sleep. And I can't recommend it enough. Moving on to makeup. I don't have that many makeup products this month. I've been honestly just in troll mode, aka been really bad about actually wearing makeup this past month and really trying a lot of my like new Sephora products. So one of my goals for the next 30 days is to actually put time into testing a lot of my Sephora purchases so I can come to you with more faves and fails next month. But I do still have some makeup products that I have been loving. Starting off with this little Wet n Wild lip product. Now these are the Wet n Wild, oh here we go, Rose Comforting Lip Colors. I have several shades. The one I'm wearing today is perfect for summer. It is very shimmery. It does have little glitter particles in it, which is normally something I wouldn't go for, but like today's look, I'm kind of dressed like camp counselor beachy vibes and it 
it works. Um, this is the shade Soft and Juicy. And I'm going to go ahead and show you the other shades as well. But this one I would describe as being very similar to like NAR the NARS Orgasm products where it's that kind of like peachy pink with those gold particles, but really pretty. I have four other shades. I also have the shade Pecan Glaze, the shade Taffy Daddy, the shade Biscotti Mommy, and then the shade Cherry Syrup. I wanna say these are like $2.99. Like Wet n Wild is so underrated. Okay, going through these again. So this, the first one is Soft and Juicy. And then the next one we have is Pecan Glaze. The next one we have is Taffy Daddy. And then we have Biscotti Mommy. I'm oh, sorry, Biscotti Mommy. And then Cherry Syrup. The texture reminds me of the Tarte Juicy Lips. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch one. And it's similar, but the Tarte Juicy Lips are definitely thicker. So this is a thinner version of the Tarte Juicy Lips and they're great. Like I don't really know what else to say about them other than they provide like a nice sheer wash of color. They're very juicy and hydrating. Um, one thing I will say is it is a rose scent and they're very scented. So if you are sensitive to the smell of rose or you don't like scented lip products, these are not going to be for you. But if you don't have a problem, then I highly recommend these. Again, they're like $2.99, I want to say, and you, you can't go wrong. The next makeup product I have is one I did get at the Sephora sale, but I have been taking the time to test it, and it's incredible. It is the Colfi Main Match Concealer, and I wear the lightest shade Ice Ice Berry. Now, Colfi doesn't have a lot of shades for lighter complexions. It is a brand that's tailored towards... Um, like medium to darker complexions, but this lightest shade, Ice Ice Berry, works wonderfully on me. It is more of a like color corrector shade almost, but it it doesn't like cake up in weird areas. It doesn't make my under eyes look crepey and disgusting. It's really wonderful. Um, of course, they're still creasing. Like there's never not going to be creasing if you are like me and you have really bad under eye lines. This one is great. I cannot recommend it enough. I would probably go in store. We'll check to see if, which stores carry this brand and test it out to see if this lightest shade will work for you because it's not going to work for like super, super, super fair girlies, but I'm quite fair and it works for me. So very excited about this concealer. It is very rare that I actually get excited about a concealer or foundation and I am so excited that I picked this up. The next makeup product I've been loving is not new by any means. I've just been using it a lot lately and remembered how much I love it. And it is the Glossier Solar Paint Luminous Cream Bronzer. Now this, again, is not a new launch, but now that Glossier is in Sephora, it's new to a lot of people. It is just such a pretty luminous bronzer. Um, I apply this just to the top of my cheekbones. I sheer it out with my fingers. I find that if you use a sponge or a brush, it absorbs too much of the product. So I love this for every day, but especially for days where I'm in a hurry, which is almost every day, um, because I don't have to use a brush or a sponge to blend it out. And it provides just a very nice sheer wash of color on the cheeks and it makes you look a little bit more alive. I also like the applicator. I like that it's like a doe, that it is a doe foot applicator. I don't know why I just really like doe foot applicators. So definitely check this out and I will link the Sephora link down below in my description. The next makeup product is one that I got as a gift from my sister. Absolutely obsessed. This is the Flower Nose Rococo Series Five Color Eyeshadow Palette in number two, Sweet Candelaise. So Flower Nose is, I believe it's a Japanese brand. You may have seen it on Instagram. 
It's not super popular, popular in the U.S. yet, but they, I mean, look at this packaging, the little strawberries, the packaging is just amazing. And then I have been loving these shades. Something about, something to know about Asian eyeshadow palettes um, is they tend, in my experience, they tend to be a little bit more sheer. So if you're hoping for something super pigmented, you're not gonna get that with this palette. But I have been loving this palette because it's a little bit more sheer. You can't really make mistakes. I'm gonna swatch it right now. You can't really make mistakes and it's great for just popping some of these darker colors or rather the matte colors in the crease. And then this shimmer shade, it reminds me a little bit of a ColourPop Super Shock and that it's kind of bouncy. Here are the shades swatched. And that was just one, one go of it. So they do end up providing some quite some pigment for the darker ones. The lighter ones are just very natural. It is what I'm wearing today. I popped, I wanna say like all four of the mattes in my crease, just using my Refer 16. I was able to just apply really quickly. And then I went in with my finger on the shimmer shade and applied it all over my lid. This has like been one of my favorite palettes for everyday use. And I'm really, really tempted to pick up, they launched a mermaid collection and they have one with really pretty purples and then one with really pretty teals that I am very tempted to pick up because I love this formula so much. Another absolute favorite of mine, I have a little sample of, and I will be purchasing the full size. And this is from the brand Mob Cosmetics. I don't know if it's M-O-B, I say Mob Cosmetics. Um, I love this brand. I've been so impressed. I have a ton of their products. You can like build your own palettes with them. I do have a video planned where I'm going to be testing out and showcasing all their products. I've tried almost everything in their range. And this is one of their powder highlighters. The shade is M49. When I got it in as a free sample in one of my orders, I was like, oh, that's way too dark for me. But no, it is not. It is just like, look, look at that glow. Look at that glow. It's what I'm wearing on my cheeks today. And then it's what I'm wearing in my inner corner. I mean, it looks like liquid, liquid metal. And it just blends effortless, ever effortlessly into the skin. I will say because it is metallic, it is going to emphasize your texture a little bit, but it's not enough where I really care. Like for me, the glow is so worth it. I'm just like admiring myself in the viewfinder and you can see when the light catches. So again, this is the mob Beauty Highlighter in the shade M49. I will have this linked down below, but definitely check out their products. I really love them. Like you can build palettes, etc. I will link, provide the link down below for this on the Mob Beauty website. And then I will also link, I'm pretty sure they're also sold at Credo. So I'll link Credo depending on where you choose, where you like to purchase. Another favorite, for this past month is definitely the FutureWise Slug Boost Hydrating Mist. Now, if you've watched my other videos, you may recall my second video was doing an overview of the FutureWise slugging system, and I have just been loving this. Of the three products, this is definitely the one that I recommend, um, mainly because it's something you can use both morning and night. I'll get more use out of it versus the slugging products are ones you're gonna use occasionally. And one of my favorite things about this is the mister. It is just the finest. I don't know if you could see that, but it is just the finest mist. I do have a ton of other toners I need to use before I allow myself to repurchase this one. But what I am going to do is I am going to keep this container and then put my other toners in this little container to mist it out and make it more fun to apply that step of my skincare routine. My next skincare product is one that was gifted to me, but that doesn't impact my opinion of it. I will always be honest. And this is the Bloom FX Royal Tulip Vitamin C Facial Oil with 20% THD 
asorbate. I'm definitely pronouncing that ingredient wrong, but this is just the most beautiful vitamin C oil. I have been, I started, when I started testing this, I've been testing it for, I want to say like th two or three weeks now, and I've been using it every day, which is how I'm able to really report back and say, okay, this does not irritate my skin. Um, when I was first testing it, I was using it in the mornings because vitamin C, usually you apply in the morning, but I have to say, because it is so oily, it's too oily for the morning, in my opinion, unless you're gonna go like no makeup, but it's difficult to apply makeup underneath because it slips and slides. But at night, it is the most beautiful oil. I apply it as the last step in my skincare routine. I love that it has a little dropper. And this is one of maybe three, honestly, yeah, this is one of three vitamin C products that has not irritated my skin which is miraculous. Vitamin C is such an important ingredient in skincare to incorporate in your routine, but I get such bad little red irritation splotches all over my face with most vitamin Cs. This one and the SkinCeuticals one, and then one from a dermatologist I once went to are the only ones that do not irritate my skin. So I cannot recommend this enough, especially if you have sensitive skin. It's fragrance free. Thank you, Bloom Effects, for no fragrance. And it's a lovely product. I do also have a discount code. Let me go. Let me go on the Shop My app and look up my discount code. Okay, the discount code is Dear Eva Hansen. And I don't remember exactly how much money you get off. Um, I can test that and then put the notes in the description, but you will get money off. And again, that's Dear Eva Hansen. Um, and to be transparent, I do earn um, a commission if you use that code, but I'll also provide the link and you don't have to use my code if you don't want to save money. Another like skincare slash body care item that I've been loving and I've used this for several years is the St. Tropez Self Tan Purity Bronzing Water Face Mist. Now, this is what I've been using. That's the only reason why I like look slightly glowy. Again, I'm still very fair, but that it is because of this. And what I like to do is I like to apply this at night. I apply it as my first step in my skincare routine. I was doing it at the last step, but I think I saw a TikTok that pointed out if you're doing that, it's like not going to be able to be fully absorbed into the skin because you're putting it on after all of your other creams. So I like to do just like two mists at night and then it creates a really nice glow. I also make sure I get it on my neck and chest area. Even though it does have fragrance, it has not made me break out. And again, I've been using this product for years now and I'm almost out of this particular one, but I think I have a backup. So definitely check this out if you're looking for a product to provide you a little bit of a glow for summer and one that will not irritate your skin. Another tanning product that I am obsessed with, I've been using this for about a year, but I only self tan in like the spring summer. I do not bother in the fall or winter here in Seattle. And it is the Saint Tropez, Saint Tropez Graduation Watermelon Infusion, Infusion Body Moisturizer. Now I love this self tanner because it is pretty idiot proof. I have a lot of self-tanning foams that I really like, but I'm such a dope when I'm applying those products. I end up with really bad splotches and it looks like I'm like, have, have a skin rash. This one, I applied it last night and it just provides like a really nice subtle glow. Again, you probably are like, oh my God, she's still so pale, but I was like five shades paler before I applied it last night. and it's pretty mistake proof. Like I'm not seeing splotchiness anywhere, even around the ankle area. Of course, when you're applying it, you still want to be mindful and, you know, make sure you're rubbing it in and uh, trying to apply the same amount of product all over your body. But this one is my favorite for self tanning. And it claims that it locks in moisture for 72 hours. I don't know if it does that, but I can say that this lasts on me a full week. 
I don't know how because I work out probably like five days a week and I'm showering six days a week probably and I haven't had any issues with this sweating off or washing off so if you are in the market for a nice glowy body tan and you don't want to have to deal with a foamy mess definitely check this one out. I'm sure when I watch this back I'm going to be cringing because I typically have like one verbal tick per video and I'm noticing already that check this one out is going to be the verbal tick in this one so apologies in advance. Hopefully you can't hear that, but the shower is running. It's going to drive me crazy. Anyways, wrapping up, we're going to talk about body care products before we move into all the things that I hated this month. I picked up the Tree Hut Coco Colada line at Target, and I, I'm obsessed. I am obsessed. Oh my god, you need to run to Target now. So I picked up the Foaming Gel Wash, the... Sugar Shea, excuse me, the Shea Sugar Scrub, and then the Coco Colada Whipped Shea Body Butter. Now, I, I just love in summer, actually every season, I love having body products that smell like the season. And because, you know, Seattle, we're going to get like probably a month of summer, I really want to prolong the feeling of summer in Seattle. So I started off my summer season with these products. Now, these smell, I don't know how to describe it other than beachy. They smell beachy. They smell coconutty, they smell beachy. This body wash, I like that it really lathers up well. That is one of my biggest pet peeves with the body wash is if it does not lather up. And this lathers up beautifully. The Sugar Scrub, I've been a fan of the Tree Hut Sugar Scrubs for a while, is, it's wonderful. It, it has a much stronger scent than this guy, so I really like that. And it has the little, like, sugar particles. It looks like some sort of, like, seed. I don't know, but it's beautiful. And then the Coco Colada Whipped Shea Body Butter. A lot of body, body butters, I find, like, pill on me. Yeah, that's a proper term, pill on me. And I cannot use them. Like Trader Joe's body butters, I'm triggered. Those are, oh, like they make me sick thinking about them. Those are awful. And there are a lot of other body butters, in my opinion, that are just terrible because they pill up. This does not. It is nice and moisturizing, but it's still rather thin for a body butter. I don't know how to describe it, but it's amazing, it smells good, and using all three together really helps lock in the scent for, you know, several hours. You're not going to be able to smell like your body lotion or your body wash all day, but it provides a nice little fun scent for several hours, and I just cannot recommend these enough. I will be purchasing um, backups because I know I'm going to be running out of these before the end of summer and I will want more. We are at the end of the video that is going to exude negativity, hatred, anger, violence. Hopefully I don't like get in trouble for using that word on YouTube but these are products that really angered me. They're not all new. Um, the first one is one that is not new but I tried using again and it just reignited my hatred for this product. And it is the iconic London Glaze Crayon. Now, these have bad reviews on Sephora, but then one of my favorite YouTubers, Kathleen Light, really liked, gave it a good review. So I ended up picking some up. Sephora sale back in 2022. And I hate these. And the reason why I hate these is because they are a creasy mess. You swatch it and you're like, oh my god, this is such a beautiful eye crayon. Creasy, creasy mess. Your eyes will look patchy. Um, the top coat is, is pretty. Like, the top coat's pretty, but this crayon is terrible. Do not buy these. Um, Iconic London is great, though, and I have a lot of products by them that I actually am obsessed with. 
and I will be talking about some of their new blushes very soon, but this particular one, no go. I have two other products, and one of them I feel so bad about because I definitely led people astray. I used this product on my channel. I initially loved it. I even texted a couple friends who were asking me for tinted moisturizer recommendations, and I recommended it. And then one day, I don't know what happened, I started wearing it again, and it looked terrible. It looked terrible. I tried to figure out, okay, was it my primer that I used that day? And I can't figure out why it looks terrible now every time I wear it, but I don't remember what I was wearing the first few times when I wore it and really loved it. And so it's like not worth it for me to A, recommend it again, or B, to keep. So I will be returning it. And it is the Born This Way Healthy Glow Moisturizing Skin Tint. Again, I apologize. I recommended this on my channel. So in the future now, I'm gonna like, any foundation products, I wanna test out for a full month before recommending. I apologize if you were personally victimized by this recommendation, but this product went from a love to a hate real fast. I did end up exchanging it for my proper shade, and it is snow. The shade match is great, so that's also why it's frustrating, but dang, it just wears so weird on my skin now, and I actually texted a friend, shout out Kaylee, who bought this because I recommended it, and it also looked terrible on her. So the guilt is real, but this is one, yeah, I don't recommend this anymore. I'm kind of shook by how weird this whole trajectory was, where it was so great, and then all of a sudden, consistently, I cannot wear it, and I haven't really changed up much. I tried it without primer, with primer, using the same skincare routine that I normally use, and it's a no-go. The last product that I absolutely hate is such a bummer. It is the Kaja Viva Shine Highlighting Quad or triplet, whatever. I love Kaja. I own every single beauty bento, I think. I'm 99% sure I own every single shade. I love their lip products, I love their blushes, I love everything, I love their toddler packaging, I love any makeup that looks like it is meant for a toddler. And so when they launched this highlighter, Trio, that's what it is, a Trio, during the Sephora sale, like the last day, I ordered it, and guys, this is such a disappointment. Look at this glitter. Like, I'm gonna swatch it, it is just chunky, glitter after chunky glitter. Okay, so here's the first one. Ew. Like, maybe it looks good on camera. It is just chunky, chunky glitter. The second one. Chunkier glitter. This one has a little bit more pigment. Chunky glitter again. This is not a highlighter. I, I'm kind of getting annoyed because the viewfinder is making it look pretty, but it's not. It's not, it's not something you wear on your face. It's something you would wear on your eyes, maybe. The bottom shade is okay. It's this like swirled, but it's like, okay, like the bottom one's pretty, but it's nothing to write home about. And it's not something that I'm gonna recommend. I'm actually gonna return it because I feel conned, but there are so many products that I love from Kaja, and I think their pricing is so fair and reasonable that I totally forgive them, and I will continue to buy everything they release, especially if it has ridiculous little Taylor Swift-esque packaging, lover era. Um, so I'll forgive them, but I'm gonna return this product. That wraps up today's video. Thank you guys so much for being back and tuning in. I did order for in-person pickup four, I think, of the shades of the new Huda Beauty Lip Blush product. So those that review will be up this weekend, hopefully. And then I have a lot of other fun videos coming at you. Going to get my schedule in order so I can consistently be doing, you know, hopefully two videos per week and then up it as time goes on. But thanks so much for being here. Definitely subscribe and then follow me on Instagram if you are not already. Thanks. Bye.